Now the fourth question is, draw the graph of y equals x square into e to the power minus mod x. Now for this function, first I'll find domain. So there is no restriction in the function. So domain obviously is x belongs to r. If I replace x with minus x, I'll get, which means this graph has a y-axis symmetry. Now the third thing is, we need to discuss its continuity and differentiability. Now it is continuous and differentiable and x belongs to r. Actually, I need to check the differentiability at zero because we do have mod of x. But then when you'll find left-hand derivative and right-hand derivative, you'll find that it is differentiable at x equal to zero. Now the fourth step is to find points of intersection. So if I'll put x as zero, I'll get y equals zero and there is no other point of intersection. So the only point where it will intersect x is zero comma zero. Now, because this graph has a y-axis symmetry, so what I'll do is, I'll draw the graph when x is greater than or equal to zero, and then I'll replicate the same graph on the left-hand side. I'll write this function as y equals x square e to the power minus x when x is greater than or equal to zero. I'll find dy by dx. So if I differentiate the function, I'll get dy by dx as e to the power minus x, two minus x, and plus x, so the critical points are 0 and 2. So 0 and then it's 2. Rightmost, it is minus, so this is minus and this is plus. So between 0 and 2, this function, it will increase and from 2 to infinite, it will decrease. Now at 0, it will have local minima and at 2, this function will have local maxima. I'll also find this value. So now if I'll put x as 0, I'll get y as 0. And if I'll put x as 2, I'll get y as 4 into e to the power minus 2. Now I'll find the limits also. Now because I'm taking the reflection of right on left, I'll just need to find one limit, which is limit x tends to infinite. So identify the form infinite e to the power minus infinite is 0, which is an indeterminate form. So I'll write it as x square upon e to the power x, which is infinity upon infinity form. So if I'll differentiate it twice, I'll get this limit as 0. So now I'll draw my graph. So it'll intersect x-axis and y-axis at origin, local minima at 0, minimum value 0. And then at 2, maximum value 4 upon e square. And then at infinite, it'll be 0. So I'll draw this graph. And now because it is symmetric about y-axis, I'll take the reflection of right on left. So that is the graph of y equals x square into e to the power minus mod x.